Luna version 6 comes with a powerful task scheduling mechanism and caching enabled by default for all projects. What you want to do though is to make sure you fine tune it for your specific workspace. Now, since Luna uses an X under the hood for its task scheduling purposes, you would want to create an annex JSON and configure it yourself. Now, we wanted to make that experience better, and so we created the Luna add caching command. What this does is basically scan your workspace, find all your package JSON scripts, and ask you a couple of questions. The first one being which scripts need to be run in topological order. Meaning, if you run a build script, what we would want to do probably is to run the build script of the dependent projects. So if Remix app depends here on header and footer, we want to build those first and then build the Remix app. This obviously has an implication on the parallelization that we can apply. However, test, dev and start, they can be run in maximum parallelized order. Next question is about the caching. So which operations are cacheable? Usually those are the ones that don't have any side effects. So the build task commands are usually fine to be cached. Linting would be another candidate, but like dev and start are usually not something you want to cache because you want to start your development server to start coding. Also for the output path, Learn is able to actually pick up the most commonly used output paths such as dist and build. But for the purpose of this demo, we could actually specify here the dist folder as the output of our build script. And for the test script, we don't have any output, so we just leave it blank. The result here is an NX JSON file that gets produced, which has our cacheable operations, and it also has such a pipeline, such a task pipeline, where we define, for instance, that whenever we run build, we run the build for all its dependent projects, and we can also see here the configuration of such an output path. As a result of this configuration, now if we run learner run test, it would run the tests against all the projects that we have. However, if we rerun it, those results would just be pulled out of the cache and be super fast.